7 YouTube settings that every YouTuber should know about in 2022. They are all essential because they affect channel growth, the views you are getting, and even engagement on your channel. Without further ado, hit that like and subscribe buttons and let's get started. The first setting I'm going to tell you about is really simple and if you have ever posted a video on YouTube, you already know about it. But it is really significant, so let me remind you about it. I'm talking about audio settings, whether your video is made for kids. There are a lot of laws that protect children, so this is really important. YouTube was already fined by FTC for violating the children's privacy law. Since then, they have really strict rules when it comes to content for kids, and they reached an agreement by announcing these settings. Later that year, FTC released an article where they determined what type of content is made for kids and how to distinguish it. If you fail to set these settings appropriately, you might be fined up to $42,000 $530 per violation. If you create content for kids and you don't want to get into troubles, mark your videos as made for kids. If you have a mixed audience, some of your videos are made for kids and some for the adults, for example, for their parents, your channel is still should be marked as made for kids, even if kids aren't your primary audience. And if your videos are not made for kids, so mark these videos as not made for kids. To do so, go to the YouTube Studio, open the settings, then click on Channel and Advanced Settings. Tick the needed box and you're all set. These settings will default all the future videos you upload, so you won't have a need to mark each video you upload as made for kids or made not for kids. And by the way, remember that if you, for example, make videos like piano lessons or drawing lessons, and some of the viewers might be kids, but they are not your target audience, that means that you don't have to mark your channel as made for kids. That's just because, well, it's not made for kids, right? But if you make these videos in form of a cartoon, for example, so you are aiming that children would watch your channel, in this case, yes, mark your channel as made for kids. The next thing you should do is to unlock all the features. This information is more for new channels. So when you create a channel, you can upload videos and manage playlists. These are defaults settings what you can do. But there are some other settings like uploading videos longer than 15 minutes, creating custom thumbnails, do live streams, appeal ID claims. These are default settings that you need to unlock manually. And without custom thumbnails, it will be really hard to you to get views, well, because now nobody posts videos without custom thumbnails. So, to do so, open the YouTube Studio, go to the settings, tap on the channel tab and then feature eligibility. To enable it, you should verify your phone number. So you click verify, select your country and enter the phone number. In a few seconds, YouTube will send you a message with the code. Once you receive it, enter the numbers. And that's it. Now you can upload videos longer than 15 minutes, create custom thumbnails, have live streams and appeal content ID claims. YouTube is currently experimenting with these features and in some cases you would also have to unlock some advanced features like embed live streams and posting more videos and shorts per day. There are three ways to enable them. The first one is to do a video verification. You look at the camera and then follow the prompts. Look down, look up, so on. The second is to provide your ID. So you just take a photo of your ID. And the third option is to establish the channel history. So you just post in videos. The advanced feature doesn't show up on every channel. It usually applies to brand new channels. As I said, YouTube is experimenting, so some channels do have these advanced features, some of them do not. Therefore, don't stress out if you don't see them. YouTube will open the access to them automatically. Number three, channel page from mobile devices. YouTube has updated the layout of the channel description when browsing on YouTube from mobile devices. It has moved the top part of the channel description over the front part of the channel page. They are showing the banner image, profile picture, channel name, subscribe account, 
and amount of uploaded videos. But what is more important, now they are showing this snippet of information from your channel description. This snippet is vital, as when someone goes to your channel, they have a chance to immediately read what your channel is about and decide whether your channel is for them, whether you, they want to watch other of your videos. At the time of this recording, when I'm recording this video, YouTube allows 115 characters, but this amount depends on the alphabet and what kind of characters you use. Therefore, I strongly advise you to check what are the first sentences of your channel description and maybe rewrite them. So make the most out of these 115 characters. Try to make this text as captivating as you can and also tell your viewers what your channel is about so to make them want to watch other, not other, but any of your videos. To edit this text, open your channel from your phone, then click channel settings and edit the description. The YouTube desktop site doesn't show the snippet of the description right on the home page, so to get this information the viewer should go to the about page of your channel. So don't stop the description of your channel just on these 115 characters. Continue to write your description to elaborate on what the viewer, your viewers can get from your channel, what videos you are filming, and also insert some keywords to help YouTube algorithm to identify what is your channel about. But don't forget to set a new paragraph after these 115 characters. The next thing you can do is to add watermarks to your videos. It appears in the bottom right-hand corner of your videos and reminds people to subscribe to your channel. So when you move your mouse to this watermark, YouTube suggests you to subscribe to the channel. One click and you're all set. Actually, let's check whether it works. Click on this watermark and see whether you'll be able to subscribe to this channel. But promise me not to unsubscribe later. This watermark is significant for three reasons. First, it draws your attention to subscribe to your channel. Second, it identifies your brand. So if you put here your logo, everybody would remember it. And third, it prevents theft. So everybody would know what is the true source of the video. But if they will just don't let your video from YouTube, well, it doesn't, it won't actually work. To customize the video watermark, open the customization tab in the YouTube studio. Then click branding and scroll all the way down. There you can upload your watermark and customize the display time when the watermark is going to show on each of your videos. Number five, comment moderation. YouTube continues to improve content moderation features. Recently, they developed a new feature called increase strictness. This is an optional feature that deals with inappropriate comments. So some spam or abusive comments won't be posted on your channel. Now it is in experimental mode, so later YouTube will fix it and finalize it. But still, it is super useful for big channels, for example, who already have audience and who get some comments from haters. If you're just starting out, there is a big chance that you won't face any rude comments, so you won't be able to check this feature at full capacity. But still, if you want to do so, you're free to go. To enable this tool, open settings in the YouTube studio, then select the community tab and and default. Tick the box and click save. By the way, in this section you can also disable comments, hold all or potentially inappropriate comments for review, or allow all comments. I usually go with hold inappropriate comments for review. This way these comments will be published only if you approve them. Besides, you can manually add blocked words, so that when someone writes a comment containing these words, it will be automatically held for review. You can do this in the community and automated filters tab. Scroll down, write the words separating them with a comma and tap save. Number six, visibility. When you upload the videos, you can choose who can watch them. You can set videos as private, listed, or set them as scheduled. Private means no one but you and people you choose can watch your videos. They won't be shown on your homepage and in search results. Unlisted videos can be seen by anyone who has a link, so they also won't be shown on your home page and in YouTube search results. But if you add these videos in a playlist, everybody who would watch this playlist would be able to watch the unlisted video as well. And public videos are available for everyone. They will be shown on your home page, on the channel page, as well as in YouTube search results. 
You can set the visibility in the YouTube Studio so that you won't have to choose it when uploading each video. Open the settings, click on the Upload defaults and scroll down. I recommend you first select Unlisted and write a pin a comment and then Schedule Application. So when the video is scheduled, nobody can see it on the homepage and nobody can see it in the YouTube search results. So everything is the same as if the video was private. With one exception. On the chosen time and date, this video will be published. Number 7. Featured section. The last thing I want you to pay attention to is the layout of the channel homepage. As a default, YouTube sets shorts to the top of the home channel page. So if you are posting shorts regularly, that's great, leave them there. But if you are not posting shorts regularly or if you want your viewers to pay attention more to your long videos, I advise you to change these settings. To do so, go to YouTube Studio and Customization. There you will see the featured section that we need. To add a new section, click Add section and select the one that you need. Once you are done, you may swap them. To do this, hold and drag them to the spot you chose. I suggest you add several sections – popular videos, playlists and uploads. Put the videos with the most views on the top and with the least views on the bottom. To remove a section, click on three dots in the top right corner and then tap Remove section. This way, when somebody visits your channel, they will see more of your videos and there will be a high chance that they will remain on your channel and eventually subscribe. That's it from me for today. If the information I gave you was useful, please let me know it in the comments down below and don't forget to hit like and subscribe buttons. And don't forget to check out this video where I tell you how to use YouTube analytics in your advantage. And I'll see you in the next videos. Bye!